first, but the main tier one match of the day, Zephyr Dota, P Phoenix. And here comes the Ember First Band. <laughs> Ember First Band, could you expect anything less from Zephyr against MVP Phoenix, considering yes, that the- they should know they can deal with it. I think Ember is really overrated and you should not. As soon as they first ban Ember, like MVP Phoenix has the, has the edge because the ways to ban on a hero that's not even that strong. I don't think it's that strong. I think it's really easy to counter. If it's a carry one, you can try it against it. If it's mid, like whatever, it's uh, you can still shut it down. It's not gonna get as much farm because it's he has a lane that's contested. It's a one when one v one matchup, and there's so many heroes that do really well against him. Uh, that is true, but I also want to mention that. MVP Phoenix, they have a ton of practice on that hero. They know that hero like the back of their hand, and Zephyr Dota, even if they're confident okay, against that hero, they don't want to give MVP Phoenix that hero and putting their opponents into a very comfortable position where they're happy with their draft and can play their best. Yeah. I want to know that the first pick Visage, which is not really a first pick anymore these days, so I'm really like... I think they're gonna pick a draw next, a draw ranger next, and if they don't, like I can't. Exp okay. Yeah, oh wow, man, you called that one. And uh, one thing I really do want to mention about the draw ranger and visage combo is that draw ranger's third ability, when you activate it, it gives that extra damage to the, the, the familiars. Yeah. And it is insane, insane. DPS, like yes. insane. Yes. You don't want to face against that, but. Let's not go ahead and knock down Zephyr's lineup because they have the Ancient Apparition. Would you say this hero's first pick material in the yes, current meta? Yes, yes, he's very strong, man. He has I, a really strong ultimate, a very strong laning skills. I have to agree. He's, he's strong all around, he's really strong. He has a good range, good damage. There's no reason not to pick it. I know that uh, Zephyr has been practicing, I believe Aosin specifically has been practicing a little bit with the AA recently, so. I'm not too surprised to see Zephyr pick up that hero. Uh, it does look like Heen will probably be playing the Drow Ranger considering he's handled that hero in the past. And this is almost certainly a Cory Marana. We're not seeing... Actually, no, it might be Bambo Marana. We still don't know. That's true. Bambo also... Bambo Marana has won games hero. for Zephyr, like lost games for Zephyr before, so... Have we seen Blitz on the hero too much, though? I, I nah, don't, I don't not, really it's, think it's, it's a not Blitz a hero. hero. It's not a Blitz hero, man. Uh, it's, Blitz is all about, like, Timber Saw, Storm Spirit, uh, you know, other various heroes. Doom mid as well. He likes yeah. to do. Uh, like, the, what, the band SD? Like, okay, the band Clock Storm. Well, Storm, uh, I mean, normal band. Uh, against Zephyr because uh, it's still uh, it's still beats best hero. It's a uh, it's a respect ban at le at the very minimum. Well, I mean, it's, Storm gets banned usually in second phase, so I didn't first ban it. Like a respect ban would be like Storm first ban, which okay, which really opens uh, like leaves you very vulnerable like in the ne in the re the rest of the drafting phase. So you're like, okay, if you're gonna have first pick uh, Storm, which is not that good, you're like, okay, you can uh, you can have it. We're gonna deal with it. But second phase, like, okay, no, you didn't first pick it, so you're not gonna have it. I guess it kind of balances itself out. You grab it too early, you give yourself room to be countered, and uh, if you grab it oh, later on, spark. yeah. Okay, that it's got to be Bambo on the Marana then, and Corey. Oh, no, as we the still slark. don't know. Bambo has, has played offense arc too. We still don't know, man. I this guess, is, guess this you're is right. Yeah. This is why you can't really know. Like this is why this kind of uh, this uh, kind of drafting is uh, good, or at least I like it. Because you can't really read into it. Now, like, uh, for MVP finish, it's pretty clear cut. Drow is going to be safe lane. Although she might, she, she could be mid, but uh, I'm pretty sure we're going to see him uh, safe lane. Oh, how, if, if for some reason we saw the Slark and the Drow mid, uh, wouldn't that be, uh, you know, not that bad at all Slark, for uh, the Bits Drow? Is not a Slark player. He's not going to, it's not going to be a mid uh, Slark. He doesn't play Slark, so. Uh, but, uh, I mean, Drow would destroy Slark, I guess. I should know. She wouldn't. It would be. It would depend. Like, I think it's, it might be skill based. I'm not sure exactly because I've never played this matchup. But uh, I, I just I imagine that Slark's gonna be a Cory hero because yeah, he play, He always plays Slark. Yeah, so. yo, he plays Slark a lot. And but back, so does Bamboo. But yeah, back when Marana was all the craze for like tr offensive tri lane position one, we did see a lot of Cory Marana. But uh, she has strangely fallen out of favor in that position. But 
with MVP Phoenix quick picking up the Queen of Pain, we can see her in like 1v1 solo situations, but that is generally relegated to the mid lane. So I do imagine that this is going to be more of a safe lane draw at this point. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, there's no reason to put draw mid when you have a Queen of Pain. I it might might depend on uh, what uh, Zephyr picks next, but uh, yeah, it's almost certainly mid. I guess Carl is going to be playing the Queen of Pain then. He okay, generally really handles it. It looks like the uh, they might go for an. Uh, actually, I'm not sure. They might just play it normally, but they could aggressive try. They have an AA, a Marana, and a CM, which is a pretty, very strong lane. Yeah, I mean, Zephyr, they still have a lot of options open to, <laughs> to them. Purge with a nice wave to the camera. What's going on, man? How you doing, Perch? Hey, hello, everybody. This is Perch. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't it doesn't feel like uh, giving attention back, man. He's like, oh, whatever. <laughs> All right, Perch. Uh, this is Perch plays Crystal Maiden, most likely. Yes, most probably. Yeah, and as you said, you said you said you was practicing AA, so I guess uh, he's gonna be on that. Uh, the next. It, it could always be the other way around. I feel like Zephyr they can interchange Perch, a lot okay. of their support. Also, uh, it's probably going to be 5 range again. Like, uh, when you pick Draw Ranger, you yeah. want 5 range. You, you mean, you just want that aura helping you out as much as possible. Yeah, you want to get the, move, move, the whole full value out of it. We're, we're seeing a lot of Frost Heroes being picked up from both ends. I mean, Ancient Apparition, Crystal uh, Maiden, like Frost, Lich. <laughs> we have it's like a winter the Draw Ranger. There. And it's just starting to get warmer in Korea as well. Yeah, they're like, oh, we want to go back to the winter. We no, no. <laughs> Oh, it's kind of Spring cold, is yeah. coming, Karn, and yeah. also the new season of Game of Thrones. Oh, well, they're like, no, 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 let's go back to winter. <laughs> oh, Void, okay. Whoa, Void has the last pick. All I, right. I, I love when Void gets picked, by the way. Actually, He's one of my favorite heroes. Actually, with the dr I was expecting fire range, but with the Void, it's, it's, it's still okay, because you can chrono and everyone can DPS. Yeah, exactly. With the draw aura and the birds, too. I, I, well, the birds maybe not, because they would have to be like on the edge. They can they can grab anybody that's not caught in the chronosphere, I suppose. But uh, just based on drafts, one word, prediction. Phoenix. Phoenix it is. Phoenix. From, coming from Karn, so a little bit of... I know you want them to win. I want them to win. I really like their drafts, man. The only thing I'm uh, a little bit sad is they don't get. They didn't get AA. AA is very, very strong with a void. Uh, we run it uh, ourselves, and it's. I really like it. It's pretty strong. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for our first tier one header match of the evening. This is a best of three game number one between Zephyr and the smoked up. Well. No, that's Zephyr smoked up, but the non-smoked up and split up MVP Phoenix. We're going to see Zephyr spawning on the dire end while the Radiant side is being handled by the MVP Phoenix squad. Okay, so what they're doing is uh, getting like... What they're, they're doing is potentially getting a first blood. Oh the my God, arrow this hits is, on Heen. This is oh it. no, this is absolutely worst case scenario. The first blood immediately to Zephyr. And you know what? Zephyr doesn't always go for something like this. But they did it this game. Heen caught out of position. I saw the arrow, but uh, I think he was... I think that was panic, man. He, yeah, he, that was he panic. panicked there. Maybe some nerves, I don't know, but because uh, he saw it and he was dodging it, was, uh, not quite. Uh, if he dodged the arrow, he could kind of juke in the, the tier one tower area. But I, saw, I mean, uh, he's still alone, so it would have been hard, but maybe he could have made at least Zephyr use up a few like I mean, salves or, or to you be know, honest, tangos. Not, who got the first blood? It's the one thing I'm worried That's about. That's a good question. We're going to find out. This is what I need to know. Uh, looks like Ancient Apparition got the first blood. Oh, so. yeah. That's a lot of good. Okay. I mean, that's it's nice for the Ancient Apparition. Yeah, it's but okay. It's not game-breaking. Like, if it was yeah. mid, it would be really big. But Yeah, if you get that early mid advantage, you can just you can snowball your lane. Well, wait a s Okay, no. <laughs> but, like, uh, I, don't, I don't think it's that big. It's like, whatever. First ball is out of the, out of the way, but that's it. Yeah, I mean, uh, it was five men first block. If it's like a, we have less people, you get much more experience from it, and you can get closer to your level two. Yeah, the experience uh, isn't that split was up as much. Between five level one heroes, like whatever, okay. Like, hey, got it. It's gonna be nice for him. He's gonna get early boots, I guess. But uh, it's not that big. And uh, nothing to note too. But uh, I wanted to talk about about the 
Phoenix lineup is, I think they have a really good synergy with Void. Like uh, Frost, uh, Chain Frost, gonna be devastating in the Chrono. Oh, I, so I just the, realized that. They have a lot of follow up. Oh, hold on oh. a second. Blitz is low on health. Just the last hit gives a kill to Carl. Oh, just a few seconds shy of that bottle. And you know what? I think this also means that Blitz is not going to have money. Okay, never mind. He does have money for a TP scroll, or at the the very minimum, a an ally helped him out like, with that. I don't know why they last pick TA against a Co-op. Co-op destroys TA. Yeah, All you I need mean, to do is put a sentry, and there's nothing TA can do. You're just going to eat through that shield almost instantly. Yeah. Like, if there's no sentry, but I mean, a team like Phoenix is not going to let that slide. They're going to put a sentry there and be like, no, you cannot dodge a Shadow Strike with the, with a meld. Not gonna be allowed to. And I also want to mention that the the laning situation is going to be good for Phoenix as well, because I mean they're gonna get farm in the top and the bottom. Yes, like uh, Leech is a uh, the only reason you pick Leech is when you want to dual lane, and uh, with uh, like a dual lane uh, in the off lane to have uh, Leech uh, sacrifice creeps uh, every time, and it basically turns into an, uh, a safe lane because you're gonna be all the time next to your tower. The enemy carry is gonna have less less scripts to farm. You're gonna, you're gonna have, have more less experience. experience. You're gonna have more experience. You're gonna have less experience, and uh, so you basically, Leech wins the lane. Basically, like uh, if it's not an aggressive try, it's gonna so even against aggressive tries, you can push the lane back and uh, deny them a lot of XP that they really really need. Uh, and another thing to mention is that this TA is getting like no last hits against the Quap. Yeah, Queen of Pain already at 12 last hits, five denies. And we do see Crystal Maiden is nearby. She's actually uh, offensively jungling in uh, the opponent's area. Going to be spotted by some wards, but I mean, I think MVP Phoenix doesn't really care too much about that Crystal Maiden at this point. If they're not tri-laning, then the, I guess their heroes are spread pretty thin. In the mid lane though, Blitz, he's getting pretty aggressive against Carl, yeah, and coming, CM's gonna come and join. We're gonna have to see a blink. Is there enough mana? They get him out of there. Oh, Carl no. ends up dying. Purge with the awesome assistance to Blitz. And that's going to help even out this mid lane situation just a bit. Ryzen coming to the aid, but uh, just too late, unfortunately. I see what you should do when you have an unfavorable matchup mid. Like uh, the, the, side, the, the player who has the favorable matchup is going to always play aggressive to zone you out and uh, crush the lane. And, uh, this is when you have to. Oh, wait a second. He might oh, die. Oh, Is it an. <laughs> he definitely got a this high is, roll uh, on that damage die. Like, I'm starting to think, like, Zephyr is getting the better out of it. Because, like, Drow, I was uh, noticing a little bit earlier, is not getting much farm. And, uh, uh, I mean, things were looking good for Phoenix uh, after the first blood, but, I mean, Zephyr have turned it around. And if there's one thing I noticed. Zephyr loves the feed first blood. They, they've done it in so many well, this time of their they matches. It. Took it this time. <laughs> that time they're like, no, we're getting the first blood. We're not going to give it. I know. So it's, it's kind of nice to see them kind of turning it around on their opponents. Yeah. Uh, like, this draws. Our opponent is two levels ahead with Facebook. There's like nothing he can do anymore. Yeah. Uh, he really needs help. They really need to do something about this Marana. This, this lane, it's not looking too good for MVP. Ryzen's nearby Carl. If if he wants to do a little bit of diving, they do, I guess the Ryzen does have a sentry ward in his inventory to use if they want to commit to trying to pick off Blitz. The good thing is like uh, Void is getting is getting good farm and uh, they're they're shutting down the, the slot quite a bit. In the mid lane, the the sentry is dropped. Uh, I don't know. I think that sentry was a bit too preemptive. They are going to see Purge come in on the Crystal Maiden, which is going to make sure that MVP isn't overly aggressive and they just kind of stay back for the time being. Um, yeah, see, like, it's not even that, I don't think it's that Crow is missing that mid last it's just that he doesn't have enough creeps to farm. Yeah. The sacrifice. I don't know, I feel like the tri lane is, a uh, lack of tri lane maybe hurting Zephyr a little bit, but, they, they are playing against that, that Lich. It's just uh, hard to deal with. Oh, they're moving oh, in. Oh, Look at how much damage 4F took despite the pounce not hitting. Uh, that that was certainly a kill oh, that was a if we death. saw. Yeah, like with the uh, cold feet and pounce, like, really there's good no synergy. escape. There's really good synergy between uh, Slark and uh, AA. 
Because uh, Kofi is always gonna, gonna land as long as the... And the mid lane good. blitz under a bit of damage. They're chasing away at Carl, and now they're going on Ryzen, slowed by the psionic trap. Uh, he has a solar assumption. Is Carl? Do they have okay. the DPS to finish him off? Uh, no, they oh. don't, and actually Purge is going to fall, he has Carl. A DD. He got the DD, he came back to provide some assistance, and this is also forcing all of the charges on Blitz's bottle to be used up. So lots of back and forth action as far as the middle lane is concerned. Oh, the good thing uh, going for Phoenix now is like the, the Quap. Oh, Heen. Heen is dead again. Heen in oh. a lot of trouble. There's a teleportation coming from Queen of Pain to help him out, but oh, it doesn't pay. matter. Pay. Okay. He pays with his Perfect life. TV. Carl getting a kill, and with Queen of Pain 2 and 1 and 41 last hits, uh, just under 7 minutes into the match, this Queen of Pain is going the snowball. Yeah, and that's what—that's the only thing she can do, though. She cannot come back from behind. I mean, like, it's a hero that really relies on momentum, and uh, the momentum is on her side now. So, this is one of the things that's really good for the Phoenix in this game. Uh, she has her treads. She's gonna have. Uh, uh, oh, she actually. No, she, yeah, she already has them. But she has her two robe of magi for Orchid if she wants to go for one. And I think she will because. Uh, of the slow, the bottom, like they're all food to co-op as soon as she gets an orchid. Uh, you know what? I have to say I like this from MVP Phoenix. They're giving Void a lot of space to farm. Heen is uh, either willingly or unwillingly being the kind of like the sacrificial lamb in the top lane. Just a little bit of blows to exchange, okay. nothing insane. But what I was saying is, you know, they're giving Void some space to get farm. Oh, he's going BKB, okay. BKB? That's a fast BKB. Uh, I don't know. There I mean, are a lot of disables and like spells and maybe stuns. Maybe he's going Ags, actually. He might be going Ags, but if he went to Ags, I think he would get the point booster first. So uh, I don't I don't like BKB first in this case. Like He's having a good game. He doesn't need to rush it. Like What is he afraid of? Like I guess uh, Frostbite doesn't allow you to blink, so it can be dangerous, especially against an AA with his ult. And there uh, could be a, like an arrow follow-up from Corey. It seems way too safe to me, especially when you have a Void on your team. Like uh, if they initiate on you, a Void can just counter initiate. Yeah, that is true. All right, well, March, uh, who's of course playing the Void, is continuing the farm in that lane, doing pretty solid against the Slark. But uh, I mean, looking at the last hits, Corey is starting to catch up. Yeah, he's up the 28 last kills, 10 denies compared to the 32, 13 of the Faceless Void, and we do see Ryzen. He's managed to hit that important mark, level six for, uh, for his pretty, hero. That's pretty good. <laughs> Why is level six the same time as he does? <laughs> <laughs> that's not good. The Void, time walking away. Also, I think the Void pick has to do with the Slark, because uh, Void is pretty good against Slark. Like, uh, whenever you see him use uh, Shadow Dance, you just chrono him, and you're like, yeah. okay. I'm you sorry, you know where he you. is, you just can't target him. Yeah, and... Um, well, also, I like that uh, he is being like uh, kind of left li left on himself by himself and uh, kind of as a sacrifice because Drow doesn't really need items. Uh, she has her ulti and her aura that makes her do a lot of damage already. So she doesn't like, even if she doesn't have items, as long as she has Trez, it gets a couple. Of, well, okay. Oh, Corey, is, uh, he's stuck. Moonlight Shadow follow up. Oh, it's not, it's not gonna, is it going to be enough? Oh, oh, the, oh, the DPS is good. They get it. Reason, though, he's going to fall in the bottom lane. Sexy Bambo hit with a blast from the Lich. Eosin running away as well. But the, the time is not going to last too much longer. He's going to escape from the look of things, but still, that is a three-for-one trade in MVP Phoenix's favor. And at 10 minutes into the match, as the dust settles, we are seeing a tied-up game, and these two teams are, are looking very similar in skill. Yeah. Uh, like, I would still give uh, the edge to uh, Phoenix, because uh, Srog didn't really get much farm. Payne doesn't really need farm. It's, a it's, draw. it's nice, but... That's one of the good things about draw is like she doesn't really need items. Uh, yeah. It's something that's actually really frustrating sometimes in pubs. You have a draw, you shut her down. Uh, she's level 11 and she still has hits like a truck because of her ulti and her aura. You know, I mean, I've, I've heard a few people say that 
Yeah, Drow is not a good character when you're behind, but you don't really need too much items on her. As long as you can eventually make up those levels, I feel like she's still a pretty good hero. I mean, I don't like Drow as a hero, but like in some strategy, with some strategy, with Visage, this is really strong. This is uh, the main reason they picked. That's why when I saw the first pick Visage, it's like, why would you first pick Visage in uh, the current metagame? It was mostly just so that they have it, so it doesn't get banned and it didn't get the draw straight away. Because everybody's going to expect it now. You first pick uh, Visage, it's going to be for a draw. Uh, we do see that March is saving up a lot of gold. I mean, Midas? Could we could we see a bit of a late Midas from no, no, March? No, no, no. I don't think so, no. Not on Void. Like, he's going to need to take a... Like, with their draw being so far behind, if he goes for a Midas, then you're going to have, like, no fighting potential. Yeah, it's just... It's way too greedy. He's, he's probably going to go for a Madness, maybe, or uh, something of that sort. Uh... I would like to see a mask. Uh, I'm curious. I didn't see if he's maxing a bash or a time walk. I'm curious about this. Uh, he has. I saw him with at least three points in the time walk. Okay. And I, uh, I think voids nowadays they have been opting to go that uh, a little bit more commonly than I guess more backtrack or more bash. No, uh, I like to max the the time lock, uh, the bash because it does double damage in the chronosphere. Mm -hmm. And this is, a, this is a change that made Void uh, actually much stronger. Even if you don't have many items, only it's like attack speed. And uh, something just happened with the screen. What happened? Hold on for one second, ladies and gentlemen. We have uh, the, the computer screen unplugged, and it's during the, the worst of times. Okay, okay we're back. back. Sorry about that. Uh, we did miss a bit of a fight. And yeah. from what we can tell, Ancient Apparition out of the picture as well as Slark. Actually, you went for Midas. Okay. Uh, Dude, like, whenever I think a hero is going for Midas, they get the Midas. <laughs> just just okay, trust yeah. me on Midas. I'll, tr I'll trust your Midas sense then. I have the Midas sense, man. <laughs> Greed is good. <laughs> uh, I mean, maybe... I mean, Wait. It's, it's okay. I guess it gives attack speed, so... I... Oh, hold I on a second. Uh, Heen, he's uh, jumping uh, right in front. Uh, he's getting jumped in front of Sexy Bambo, securing the kill after landing the arrow. This is what I'm talking about. She doesn't have that much item, but she can already fight uh, the bottom, like, straight up. And there's a late Midas on co-op, too. Like. I was, yeah, I, I saw that for a second. I wasn't 100% sure. I was like, wait, did we actually see the Queen of Pain go for the Midas after that Ogre Club? That's a little bit odd. Yeah, it is. Uh, like, Carl likes his Midases, man. He always gets it. He gets greedy, it on Magnus, greedy, he gets it on SF, he always gets it. So. Midas Gaming. They they should yeah. just rename their team the MVP Midas. Well, I guess now uh, the late game is definitely going to be in Phoenix's favor, so it's going to be up to Zephyr to do something to uh, punish these Midases. Bamboo's going to have to make some plays. I feel that him and Eosin, these guys, I mean, if they don't set things up for the team, it's, it's going to be so uh, hard. He still has a decent farm. He has his Dominator already. He's catching up. That's straight it's despite zero being 0 and 4. Oh, okay. uh, arrow whiffing March almost hits his point, but he will survive. Mm. Uh, they, You know what I have noticed? Phoenix has not gotten as much farm as they have wanted on the Void in the top lane. I mean, he's still under 50 last hits, uh, almost 15 minutes into the match. Well, he is enough. He was off lane, and uh, like after the leading stage broke up, it's uh, much more difficult for him to find the farm. Indeed. And they need to give space to him for, uh, to uh, catch up. Hey, you know, all of the tier one towers are still uh, up from the look of things, which is actually interesting. Normally they're taken down by now, but uh, I mean, mid tower, about half health. And Blitz did manage to pick up his drums of endurance, just giving him a little bit more speed and survivability. Yeah. Um, I think like, uh, I, still I still favor Phoenix in this, in this situation, man, because like they have, they went double Midas. There's no Midas on Zephyr's side, and uh, Slog didn't have the best farm early game. Uh, yeah, that's true. Like if they don't do something about it, like if they don't punish it, they're gonna get out farmed really badly by Coop, Void. Uh, Drought doesn't really need that much, and she's still getting some, but she has Treads and Dominator, so her farm's gonna spike up. And uh, like how they punish this, like they have Phoenix has the better team fight. 
Yeah, they do, especially with the... Fight by far, like if the team fight breaks up... Chronosphere... Chrono, the, Chain Frost, Scream... Uh, scream um, they have the Sonic AoE Wave. and they have single target and DPS. Yeah, they have, they have pretty solid uh, five-man team. I mean, it's just going to come down to that Chronosphere landing on, you know, at least uh, in a good position. Like, I really think Zephyr was relying on their momentum to uh, take this, but uh, now I think they, they probably feel uh, they're behind and probably know it, probably feel like they have to do something. So I'm just curious, like, what, what is the next uh, course of action for them? Like, what are they going to do to try to uh, to stop the greed from uh, Phoenix? Yeah. All right, well, Carl has rotated towards the top lane. He's spotted by the Zephyr Ward in the lane. Lich is going to come by it, so we do see the, the Queen of Pain. I think just doing a little bit of item shenanigans with that Courier. Uh, hit from an RP, oh, he's uh, right on his way. Oh, uh, that's gonna be another death. I don't think King's surviving this one. Low on health, there's the kill. Bamboo is just uh, speeding gonna, all day. Oh, okay. Stun one and two are good, but there's no follow up from MVP. Bamboo always takes this spot, man, when he tries to land the arrow on the offlane. He always hides there and waits for, uh, for the hero to try to get a last hit. And he's like, okay, this is, this is the time. <laughs> they should, like, I don't know, put a ward there or something. So. Phoenix should be taking notes from this match and making sure that they're aware of the Bambo positions. Bambo, he really knows his Dota, man. Like, where the hide, where to juke as far as these trees go. Yeah, well, he's good at he doing it. trees, man. Oh, <laughs> uh, is he gonna. Okay, that was. It was it was almost yeah. good. He's trying to make him go into the. Yeah. Oh, well, that's nice. It does hit March. He's not gonna care. He's like, whatever. I mean, yeah, he's, he has a morbid mask already, so adding a little bit of life damage and most likely a mask of madness follow up. I mean, we still could see Helm of the Dominator, but I mean, come on, man. Mask of Madness is just so much fun on the Faceless Void. It's really good on Faceless Void, man. There's like no reason not to get it. Like, uh, Faceless Ooh. Void, you just wanna make the most out of your Chronosphere, and Mask of Man is the perfect item for this, especially with the time lock buff uh, under the Chronosphere. Yeah. And, uh, Blitz did manage the, the kill off one of uh, the um, familiars, by the way. Oh, that's, that's, that's pretty nice. Yeah, I mean, it's like, it's like what, 100 gold, I think? Yep. Oh, gold. Chronosphere on Bambo. Down he falls with assistance to that's Carl. That's gotta be uh, Carl's BKB, I think. Yeah, with that BKB, like, Quaps is just gonna. I mean, you're not gonna be able to stop her. Not at this stage of the game. Oh Zephyr. no, because she's gonna get him. Look at that makes more sense. Okay, so. Okay, that's what I was. That's what I thought. Actually, early games is pretty pretty good on Quap uh, since yeah. they changed it because uh, before you had to be level 16 for the ulti to have like racial cooldown, but now it doesn't matter as long as you have Agonims, The ulti goes to like, 35 seconds, 40 seconds, which means like you cannot push against a Quap. Like, it's very difficult now. It's gonna be really hard. Uh, especially when she gets it this early, and uh, this is what they need. They want to buy, buy time. They have minuses, they're going to outfarm Zephyr anyway. So the Aghanim choice here, here is good. That's why I was like, uh, I don't know if it's a BKB, I don't agree with this, but if it's an Aghanim, yes. Uh, I think it's a good, a good pick up in this case. So the top tower falls. Zephyr gets it without any resistance from MVP. I assume that, yeah, they, they went ahead and just traded tower for tower. Uh, Blitz is working up to a BKB from the look of things. But still yeah. nothing beyond the drums yet. I mean, fighting against this lineup without a BKB is very difficult. Yeah. Bembo, though, doesn't have as much farm as I would I was expecting from him. Uh, you know what? He's 4-3. and three. I think a lot of those deaths came before he could purchase a big item, so he's been kind of floating a, a similar amount of gold. Well, he doesn't have a lot of mass hits, so it was mostly reliable gold. Like, the goals you get from kills is uh, reliable, so you don't lose it. Yeah, that's that's true. But, uh, he got a know. Ring of Aquila. He has his phase boots and, like, a wand. So he's got a lot of, like, cheap early items, but nothing core yet. Oh, Draw's caught up, man. He's at 100 CS now. He's on Dang. par with everyone else. That's that's another thing, man. Once you, gonna, yeah, yeah, two points into that ultimate. I mean, you're last sitting like a champ, and yeah. there's the mask of madness that, that we were talking yeah. about a little bit earlier for that faceless void, and uh, and it's gonna be time for him to start working into some real damage items afterward. He might go for BKB. Just uh, yeah, he, actually, I don't know if he needs it, but uh, he 
showed like he wants to play greedy. He might, you know, he might go for a big carry. Oh, side. Blitz! He's caught in the Chronosphere. This is gonna be enough. Yeah, I don't know. Blitz is darn tanky. He's getting stun oh, locked though. Century, yeah. Oh, that creep helped out. An extra hundred damage <laughs> to pick That's, him off. Yeah, he was macroing that man. He was like farming on the jungle while macroing. He's uh, is he stacking? Did he forget? Yeah, he's stacking. That that's definitely good to be stacking that. Uh -oh. Yeah, it's better. Four Ev. Uh, I don't know. The latch is good. In comes good two up. instant TPs. Chain Frost hitting both of the Zephyr players. There's a scream on Bambo. Is it enough to kill uh, he him? Can't, he can't go for it. No. Oh, oh my God. He is going crazy. Latch hitting Carl. The blinks on cooldown for two. One silence oh, yes, hitting Corey, was... but it doesn't matter. It's a death. Heen's going to be next. He's not escaping this. Corey, you do not want to give this man kills. You do not want to give him farm. That's three dead for MVP Phoenix. Uh, that was, that uh -oh. was way too optimistic. This is not good. Like, you give Corey an inch and he's going to take a mile. Yes. Yes, you know, uh, this, is, this is not good, man. Like, like they, they need to ride the moment. Oh, my uh -oh, God. This Mark is gonna... What? Yeah, he... What? He didn't, he didn't hit him. Yeah. Oh, maybe he backtracked. <laughs> <laughs> he backtracked the damage from the ice bass. I think Ocean is not very happy about this. Still thing. hits him, though. Yeah, the tower is going to fall. Corey is securing the last hit and teleporting away. That's going to be Assange and Yasha for him. The compliment, the, the drums. So that's double drums. Right, it's the 522 Stark. Zephyr starting up a band. Yeah. <laughs> Two pairs of drums. Um, uh, this is... Uh, they were really far ahead, but now it's, it's even down with the... Yeah, once Corey... Throw. Corey got those kills and man, it just... Well, I'm sure Bambo got the top kill. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he's going to be KB. He's uh, playing uh, safer after you go. I mean, uh, I think it's a good choice since he went Midas. So I, I like this. I, I like the BKB choice for March. I mean, he does have some damage, and he's going to mainly be used for the Chronosphere and like, yeah. as, like, initiation for MVP. But uh, look at Zephyr. They've managed to ward MVP's look, Ancient Camp. Look at I like that. It. Look what Bambo picked up, man. He's going you know what rat. what time it is? It's rat time. It's rat time. As, this is, for those of you who aren't familiar, Bambo loves to... Go Shadow Blade on the Murano when he wants the kind of player as a more of a, a pushing style hero, rat style. Uh, he's gonna. He loves his like, nature's because profit. Like, I think it's smart choice because they can't win the five man engagements. Like, there's no way you're gonna support there, yeah. Chain Frost and a. Too much AoE. Up. You're gonna have the Drow while just true. doing insane DPS and the Visage, you know, from afar. Well, and I think they know about it. Void is going. Uh oh, this could be bad for Zephyr. They should not be going for this. If, they have, if, I think they, uh, is he gonna try? Wow, well, oh, he's alone though. I guess he doesn't care. In. He has BKB, I think. He's like, hi guys, I'm gonna Chrono take Roche. Oh, but the arrow Chrono hits take March. Chrono Spear, got it. the kill. Does he get it? Yes, March gets it, and the Aegis oh Blitz under heavy fire using the shield. In comes Corey. Yes, he's he gonna get a lash care. on four Ev. Kills the Lich. There's two dead on both better. sides. Are they, uh, are they gonna, gonna die, get March? Man. March yeah. is dead. He doesn't have time walk. Oh, March shit. is Carl dead. Is he still bait. manages to steal the Aegis. Heen's. Well, he almost silenced Corey, but they get Corey, Shadow they Packs maybe. out of that. The arrow <laughs> going in between the heroes. Corey. Oh, they can get him? And so close. Is he gonna go? No. March is not gonna go, and he may actually oh, die. die. He does die. Down goes the void. Zephyr, despite like that, that went terrible for them, and they still stayed composed and still uh, managed to take out a lot of MVP. They burned the Aegis, and uh, it's was twelve bad, to fourteen. Man. Yeah, that was, that was overextension from them. Like they, they should have been happy with uh, just stealing the Roshan kill, stealing the Aegis, this killing this... CM. Like I mean, they they couldn't. I'm not sure. actually like uh, you know what, Karn? This goes back to MVP Phoenix's style. They got the two Midas's. They love greed. They were way too greedy after that rush oh, yeah, attempt. Yeah. They should have killed off a person or two and backed out of there. Yeah, like yeah, especially with their lineup and the item builds, they they choose like they can't go late game. They, they should not be worried about pressing the issue like and maybe forcing an early GG. They don't have to. They got the late game locked. It's on lockdown. They're not gonna lose the late game until they, unless they make like some big positioning mistakes and. Uh, let Stark just run around the map and pick off people. But 
Corey gets a, a familiar killed. And I also want to point out that Corey is at the top of the charts for last hits. I mean, you're just... Corey's going to find farm, man. It's what he does. Yeah. Yeah. It, 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 it's what he does, Karn. <laughs> you know that. You know this very well. Yeah, I know this. And, uh, oh, oh okay. this holy is, uh, crap. Bl yeah. Purge guy. Car is blown mad, up man. instantly. The arrow oh. hits Carl, though. Bambo, does he have the DPS? Ah, uh, no, he doesn't. And Carl's going to blink out of there. Bambo, experienced, knows where his opponent is, but, I mean, he can't interrupt the, the port out of there. So Carl does escape. Agnims on Visage. This is really oh, wow. big with the drop. Uh, yeah, he has the Agnims as well as a medallion. I guess, is the Lich going to have the, the mech for MVP Phoenix this game? Yeah, probably. Yeah, I guess that's he, what's going to happen. He's the mech carrier, but I don't know if he's going to get it. I don't know if he, uh, he should have it, maybe. I don't know. I mean, it's not going to be a huge item for them this game because of yeah, the Ancient really. Apparition. It's not really the best scenario. Like, uh, A is really annoying because it makes your mech uh, a little bit worthless in most cases. Yeah. Espe I mean, if you landed on more than one hero in a team fight, it's like, well, that's like just a lot of health that's useless. Tower and uh, are they gonna contest? Yeah, I guess they want to contest. Like, Bamboo they're, they're moving in. If they get a good Bamboo ultimate, ultimate off, but Ultra's gonna hit nothing. They can't oh, fight. Oh yeah. If that ultimate hit a few of them, yeah, they would have won then for sure. But now they can't. They have to go back. March. Oh, arrow! It hits Forav. But they don't see it. He smoked. The they smoke is revealed on some of the heroes. Yeah, I mean, I think MVP would have liked the fight there, but it's yeah, just a it's a weird position on the map for both teams. And after the arrow, they decide to eventually back off. Zephyr being very cautious as well. So, you know, we're, we're approaching 30 minutes into the match. We have a 0 and 6 Drow Ranger played by Heen. Alt staffs on two of the members of MVP Phoenix. Zephyr's hard carry Corey is starting to look pretty scary, and I do not underestimate Corey when he plays the Slark. But it's gonna come down to the team fights. Or the well, rat. Yeah, they're gonna they're not they're gonna dodge the team fights, I think. But they, they should they can't unless uh until a, a Asian operation gets uh eggs, I don't think they can take the team fights, and even then it's gonna be really difficult against uh Against the, this, this lineup, uh, and again, like the pickup, the shadow bait pickup of bamboo, like shows well, what what is what their plan is gonna be. They're gonna split push with the uh, slog is gonna be really hard to catch if he's uh, aware, be well aware of what's going on, and like uh, doesn't get caught off guard. And the uh, bamboo on the other side, and the other three, there's uh, get a finding farm and waiting like for the right opportunity to catch someone. Well, speaking of scepters, the third one's picked up by Eosin, the and Ancient Apparition. Uh, the, I mean, that item is core on Ancient Apparition. It, it's like, absolutely it makes, core. It makes the ultimate so strong. Like I would even say too it, strong. 17 seconds of no, no healing power. No healing. And uh, 1k damage, it does. Nice pick Around off. 1k. Zephyr's been doing a good job at killing off the, the familiars. I think they've gotten at least three or four this yeah, game. Yeah, it's, uh, it's kind of surprising from Raisin. Though. Yeah, man, that's that's like a hero kill there or two of extra gold for their team. Yeah, like uh, Raisin doesn't waste his familiars usually. He's a pretty good Visage player. Uh, I maybe. don't know. Maybe he's just having an off game with Visage. I guess an AA, like, it does, you do so much damage with an AA on your team. Uh, if you have a chilling touch up, it's easy for him to kill him. To kill him. So this Queen of Pain's been holding on to uh, an ultimate orb for a while now. Yeah, Hex most probably. I, I imagine it's Hex. Is there a chance of a Lincoln's we don't have a defensive item on the Queen of Pain just yet? Um, I think the Hex is better. You have you have Chronosphere. Chronosphere is that's, already that's such true. a big uh, like uh, assurance policy against in the, in the fights. Like if you avoid like he's, he's in here, like you're not gonna die. I mean, it's it's not as much of an insurance policy as Song of the Siren, but it's I'd it's say it's it's good, very like, comparable. At least you can <laughs> kill them. Like Song <laughs> can't kill people in the song. Yeah. Oh, he's, he's gonna go. Yeah. He's, oh, oh my moving god. Moving forward, he misses. Bambo leaps away and Shadow Blades. The only person 
March manages the catch as Heen. Ah, uh, that was optimistic, man. Like, you know Bamboo's gonna react. Yeah, I mean, don't underestimate Bambo, man. This guy is good. Like, he would have to show himself, like, intentionally and wait for Bambo to leap and then time walk or, uh... Whoa. What? Shadow Blade? <laughs> all right, all right. How often do we see Shadow Blade on the Faces Void? Is he, is he fighting fire with fire? Is might that what's be, going might on be. here? <laughs> might be, man. Or you can't see him. Like, Tomo, you can see him. Now he can, you can't see him anymore. But I think as soon as the bamboo sees this, he's going to... How get scary is that going to be? An invisible Faces Void. All of a sudden, there's a Chronosphere out of nowhere. Oh, that's like, a, oh, shit. I'm dead. <laughs> also, Bambo's been doing a pretty good job uh, as far as uh, kills go. I think he's seven and three now. Yeah, he has an eagle horn now. Yeah, eagle song on the way. Eagle so song, that's going to be a butterfly eventually for the the sexy Bambo. And there's no MKBs. Uh, like, uh, Void can get one, but uh, not, not 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 for now at least. I mean, the the quap's gonna start falling off uh, eventually as the the time oh, continues oh, okay, on. Okay, oh. he caught him. Bambo, yeah, he's not escaping yeah. that one. This is the invisible Car faces void. That's what happens. I think Bambo's gonna have to be a little bit more careful to split push. You're gonna see a gem come up soon, man. I'm almost, I'm certain about this. Uh, quap's also picked up a sheep stick. Hey, there's uh, there's QO. Oh yeah, QO. <laughs> Why isn't 2D there? It was with 2D. 2D is around, man. He's watching. Yeah, he's watching. I thought he would be with Dude, you know, I, I just think of 2D as like your little brother. Because <laughs> he's like a lot shorter than you and he's younger. <laughs> Dude, you're like you're like 10 years older than him. Oh, like 8 years, I think. It's close, He's really man. young. He's really young. Man. He is. Great Dota player, though. That's that's for certain. Yeah. Um, I mean, where's the gem, man? I'm waiting for the gem. I know he's going to get one. He's made uh, some room. No TP scroll. All right, March in the bottom lane. He's got 17 seconds before that cooldown's up. Oh. Oh, man. He wants the chrono so bad. Yeah, He's got to wait. Yeah. Now, this is a worthy season, so. So, you know what? Eosin's been uh, pretty much untouched throughout the majority of this game. I think with the A, you can just farm any lane, neutrals, and just wait for a fight, and then you ulti from the other side of the map, and yeah. you get the most out of your ulti. Just being a Usually your uh, A doesn't, doesn't really move around with the team. Just, oh, okay. Just, oh, Bambo, he's caught again. Scream from the Queen of Pain, and... and you don't want to have any of it. <laughs> that's got to be... How frustrating is that to play against, man? Faceless Void with a Shadow Blade out of nowhere. Well, bottom with Shadow Blade is already pretty annoying, man. Like, he, he's the one who started the... He he's, started, man. He, he, you know what? He started it, man. Sexy Bambo did start yeah. it, and MVP, uh, props to them for kind of turning it around on Zephyr, making the Shadow Blade al almost useless, I feel, at this point. Yeah, well, when there's a Void, it's already question questionable, but I guess he's, uh, he was confident in his ability to just react in time, which he was. But like, the enemy void has a shadow blade too. What are you gonna do, man? Yeah. I, I also want to point out that there is a gem of true sight on the visage, so he's gonna have that extra vision available. I guess we don't see it on the Queen of Pain, but at least somebody from MVP has go that for, gem. Okay. Yeah, yeah, they have to. Quop, uh, are you saying like Quop? Okay, well she's getting another kill. Oh wow. Quop is getting Dude, out of control, man. Quop is killing people like. Too fast for us to even react. No, yeah, that's the yeah, eyes on the and like she she has it every forty seconds. As soon as she has hex up, she almost like the yeah. cooldowns are almost lined up. She can get a kill every thirty seconds or so. Uh, MVP, they're moving into the rush pit. They want to make an attempt. Zephyr, uh, I don't know if they uh, can do anything about this. Uh, there's a void. Uh, there's a void. Corey, he's gonna go in. Doesn't care. Ryzen low on health. Here he comes. The, the orb is good, but. The Ice Blast manages to pick up at least oh. one member of MVP Phoenix. They're actually down two. Corey is still alive throughout the entire ordeal. Arrow would have hit, but it misses. Holy crap, that's three down for MVP. They're going to get Roshan. That was a really poor target choice. Holy crap, Zephyr. When it comes to these team fights, they got the coordination. 
Oh wow, is he gonna oh, get away with wow. this? Oh wow. That arrow, quarter of a second. Yeah. That was a quarter of a second from a dead void. I mean, like, going on Kure is very questionable. He has a Sanjin Yasha, I don't know what else he got, but he probably got some stats. Uh, Sanjin Yasha give you a lot more survivability than, than people will give it credit sometimes. Yeah, it gives sometimes. you, like, uh, armor, it gives you HP. The move speed is nice too, but I mean, in this case, you need to help him, but it's still a slug. It has high arm armor and agility, so... I, uh, I mean, like, they need to kill Murana and, uh, well... Oh, the air Rana is good, is hitting March. Out comes the ultimate from AA oh, yeah, March. So okay. Yeah, he is dead. Down he goes. 70 seconds out of the pitcher. And we do have an ultimate from the Lich. Not so really accomplishing <laughs> too much beyond clearing a creep wave. The tier two tower falls. Zephyr have the Aegis. They've shown that they're superior when it comes to the team fights. I think uh, for I've been the Chrono played a huge role in there because if the chain frost goes off, uh, I, I think I don't think they lose the fight. I don't think they can lose the fight, especially yeah. in the Roshan pit. There's no creeps, nothing. All the bounces are gonna go for the heroes or maybe Roshan. It would have been devastating, but uh, for I was already low HP because Curry jumped in and uh, March had no choice but to Chrono on, on top of him, and uh, that was. Uh, I think that was pro positioning from Forev. He has to be far away. He cannot get caught. I also want to point out that Slark is about 2,000 gold behind a Midas Queen of Pain. It's yeah, been well, that's on an absolute well, tear the entire 2, game. 2,000 gold. Oh, the Midas. This is the Midas. That's all. It's the Midas cost. So it's pretty much ahead. Man, I, the, it's the one thing I can always count on in a, a Zephyr game. It's no matter what, Corey's going to find farm and just be yeah, an has, absolute like, beast so to deal that, with yeah. late game. He's pretty, pretty big now. And let's not discredit Blitz either. He's gotten some scary items with the, the Daedalus, a yeah, Black King Bar, and a Yasha. Yeah, he's doing a lot of damage yeah. now. I mean, like, not so long ago, like, uh, the top three were Phoenix, and now it's the opposite. There's only car keeping up. It is. Uh, we don't even have a Daedalus yet for... Uh, our Drow Ranger. She just kind of got a lot of half items like uh, the Chrysalis as well as the Yasha. And Phoenix, they can, I don't know, I, they're they are definitely behind now at this point. And they lost map control. It's more the bigger yeah, they part, lost map part. control. There's a Butterfly on the... I mean, she's going to be really hard to kill now. There's no obvious target for, uh, for Phoenix, like... If you kill A before ultis, maybe, but he's not even going to be in the fights. And CM yeah. doesn't matter. Like, uh, it's going to be really tough, man. They need a really good chrono. But uh, again, they're not going to fight, man, so they're not going to let it happen. Uh, it's getting difficult for uh, Phoenix. Yeah, if, if just if they had a little bit better coordination and they were able to like land these multi-man chronos as well as a Lich ult, you know? That's why going to Roshan with the... Like this is a kind of dangerous. Like it's much easier to contest the Roshan than to take it. Yeah, uh, they were ahead before that Roshan pit fight, and yeah. that completely changed everything for MVP. So Zephyr, they're approaching the final tier two tower that they want to take out, and Phoenix, they're going to try to defend this. Arrows thrown out. Well, Doesn't hit. Carl is not there. I think he's trying to finish his Shivas. He has it. Yeah. Carl is Carl is in the money, man. He is in the green. Uh, I think maybe he's gonna save for buyback. Uh, I, I think that they're gonna sack it. Yeah. We yeah. Defend the base and let uh, Carl speed push top with the birds. Um, I w I would have liked to see them try to the defend that, like have Carl come back a little bit sooner. I mean, it's a difficult tower to it's, the tower is kind of difficult to defend uh, when in this position. Now there's a cancel TP in the top lane, and what are forcing the fortification. Uh, he can't go alone, man. He's gonna die. Uh, Whoever it is, yeah. cancels at the last second. Uh, Bamboo's nearby. If he gets an arrow, he could kill the Queen of Pain, but he's not taking any risk. Yeah. Arrow's not gonna hit. But one gonna of lose. the familiars dies. The sexy Bambo. Uh, he's gonna lose one of them. Uh, one, one more, I think. Maybe oh, two? Oh. oh, oh, almost. He's trying to see it. <laughs> Blitz gets it though. Yeah. So you know what? They lost the tower, but 
They got three familiars. Yeah, it's like 200 gold for bamboo and one yeah. for grits. Lots of gold. Oh my oh! god! <laughs> That's a slug in the air. Oh, nice dodge. And. Oh my god! What? Oh my god! Corey survives! Oh, this is bad. He's going this to is town. Bad. Down goes Carl. Shane of Frost is doing some DPS, but not enough. The Aegis, it's forced. Finally, Corey goes down. He gets the leap on Ryzen. Ryzen! He doesn't escape, he falls. It's a three for one scenario. Uh, that was very questionable initiation. Like, why would you uh, blow a chronosphere on a Slark that has Aegis? This is a Rax. I think this is a Rax. I think it's his game. Uh, it's buyback. Buy back. It's not gonna be enough. Like, I guess the Shane Frost is already down, so Leech doesn't really matter anymore. There, there's no Shane Frost, there's no chronosphere. Well, they have a uh, co-op to stall, but because uh, uh, ultimate is really short cooldown, but I don't think they can. There's no chrono. They're gonna go for it before the chrono comes back. There's no stopping them. Yeah. Oh I mean, wow, Corey's low. Okay. Yeah, a little bit over eager. I think Zephyr. They need the retreat now that Corey's down. Aosin, he's gonna, gonna die. Go March go though. March? He went for March. Bambo, very ballsy play, and it pays off as they do. Get the kill, the void. So still a two for one scenario. They get the tower. Losing uh, the Slark is not amazing, but they did trade him for the void at least. Yeah, it was for a vo void. Actually, it was a A plus Slark for a tower and a void. Yeah. I think it's still good for Zephyria. Yeah. yeah, I don't think that's bad at all for them. And yeah. Bambo is, you know what I've noticed, Zephyr, when they can put Bambo on like a semi carry or carry hero, in the offlane, and he does good early on. Like, it's an extra. It's literally an extra core in your lineup. Yeah, that's uh, I guess uh, the void. That's what he wants. Because like, uh, if you have like only one core, it's too easy. Actually, he just needs to chrono that core and make sure he gets it in a chrono, and then it's he dies and it's over. But it's kind of the same thing as uh, when you run a we play against a doom. You really need like more than one, like two, three cores is what you want against doom. That way, it's kind of heroes that just take one. Hero out of the game, like almost instantly at the beginning of the fight. So the Queen of Pain looks to have Shiva's guard pretty darn soon. And I guess uh, Assault Kyrus is the next item for Blitz. They, they have three heroes that can benefit a lot from that. Mm, I don't know, maybe. Uh, like, Assault Kyrus is not really. It might be, it might be, but uh, they don't really have a good Assault Kyrus carry. It's, like, uh, I don't well, know. there it is. Good. Well, there it is. <laughs> I guess it works too. Actually, it's not bad on two. It's pretty good. I mean, I I think that Marana and Slark have both been getting a little bit more farm, so they have a, a quicker time to, to get the items they want. Yeah. A Daedalus finally for the Drow Ranger. A well, Slark. That's what she needs actually to do damage. She's gonna do a lot of damage in the fights. She doesn't need any more. Oh man. Ry Ryzen has not been uh, taking great care of his birds this yeah, game. Yeah, like he's been feeding. A lot I think of birds. he's given like 700 gold at this yeah, point. Something like this. Or 800. It's it's a lot. It's, it's adding Drow's up. already creating for 900 damage. Oh, that's, that's gonna be nice. That's what. You, that's Drow for you, man. Who needs items? Just need levels. <laughs> items and like levels and crit, and you're good to go with Drow. As uh, Slark's gonna go ahead and grab the Eye of Scotty. We were actually talking a little bit about this item in the room before uh, the matches, and Blitz was saying he hates Eye of Scotty, he doesn't like the item, and they don't even like to run it that much on this hero. MVP Phoenix was in the room with them as well, so that could be like some next level psychology they're using. <laughs> but I mean, Ice Eye of Scotty is not really a game breaking item, especially on Slugs, like whatever. Yeah. Well, I, I, I still think it's a pretty solid item on him. And it's, too, it's like so expensive. That's the biggest problem. For what it does, it's uh, too expensive, I think. Well, the, the cool thing about it is it gives damage and survivability. People it gives seem to... It, it gives like very... That, it, it almost gives, gives you as much health as a heart. It's not too far off. You don't get the regeneration, of course, but... I mean, you get a lot of health out of it. I mean, it might be like the... Like the survive, it's like the survivability item for Agi heroes, basically. It's like a, an upgraded Sanjanyasha, I think. Yeah, kinda, kinda. That's how I think about it. Like usually, you get one of them. You got both. So. Corey doesn't want to die, man. He's at 3k health on a Slark with 15 armor, a stun active. 
Shadow Dance. He's he's not gonna yeah, die. Uh, with Sok, as long as you don't die, you just keep stealing stats, keep stealing Agile from your enemies, and then you're gonna do a lot of damage. So as long as you survive, that's, that's the biggest, the most important part. Uh, well, spe in the fights. speaking of damage, Karn, we do have the Monkey King bar recently purchased by Void. And he's got uh oh, they're going on Corey. This can they even can they even kill him? They're, gonna get they're him. nuking him up. Yeah, he's out of there. BKB's ahoy on both ends. They're going after Blitz. Can we see March, March. get him? Time March. lock's good, but we're chilling touch hitting the remainder of the heroes. Corey's bought back. He's in the house, going for blood, stun hitting March, revenge kill, the Lich is down as well, that's no Chain Frost, they're moving after Heen, can they get him? The TP scroll doesn't matter, Ryzen's gonna fall afterwards, that's four for one, including the buyback from Corey, that's game. Yeah, it has to be, uh, this is a problem with Void, like uh, you chrono, you kill someone, he was on one man chrono, so he just buys back and he's back. You have a chrono, uh, Void that has no chrono, no BKB, what, what are you going to do? They needed to get more out of it. And a solo chronoing a, 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 a slug that most probably has buyback. Skori always has buyback. Uh, again, when they steal a Mirana and a T that does so much damage and cause so much problems. I, I don't think it was a good choice, man. It was a pretty... I mean, this game, game. It, was, it was supposed to go the other way around. Phoenix is the team where if they have one good team fight, it snowballs and they win. But Zephyr has shown that they reign supreme. And once again, man, it's their teamwork. The, when it comes to these team fights, they are executing them simply better than Phoenix. Phoenix well, had an yeah, amazing like, draft and strategy. But they but had really bad chronos. They, they didn't get a single good chrono. Yeah. And they, I mean, just. We didn't get to see enough from them that we will, that we wanted to. It's a Close. little bit disappointing, I feel. So, a few extra Manta styles to Zephyr. Both Marana and the Templar Assassin get them. Cheese to the Marana. <laughs> They're like drawing a line mid, like, let's go. He needs drawing a line mid. <laughs> because you have to go. Phoenix have to all in. They can't, there's nothing they can do, man. Oh, stuck. Well, Chris, no my back, though. But the arrow though oh, it hits March. Corey's right, so gonna good. he's gonna be alive. March is dead. Corey falls. The Aegis has popped. Heen. He's trying the TP. It didn't work the first time. It won't work the next. GG is called. MVP falling once again to Zephyr. But man, what a game! Zephyr are looking incredibly relieved after that match, and it looked so scary for Zephyr. I didn't think they were going to the win, but. MVP, they just they couldn't ever get that perfect team fight execution that they needed. Uh, honestly, I think they misused Void. Like in this, I don't think they should have lost that game with the draft they had. Like with the Void, like I mean, Bamboo was doing a lot too because he was speaking.